much for joining us. You're also the author of Renegade for Peace and Justice. Can you spell out how far apart are Democrats and Republicans over a budget for a year, a fiscal year, that's already six months old? I think this is totally uh, ridiculous, but more importantly, it's disastrous. One thing I'm very uh, pleased with, and that is the president is insisting that these discussions and negotiations continue to take place. The Republicans need to stop threatening a government shutdown, because I am telling you, Pam, when you look at the disastrous effects of what that would mean, our veterans, our senior citizens would not get the services nor their checks. The most vulnerable and the neediest in our society would be hit the worst. Furloughs will be, would, would happen, and so it's just incumbent upon everyone to try to get to some resolution by Friday. Again, they're talking, they're negotiating, and so we have to keep urging them to come to a compromise. But I have to say to you, uh, we have to always remember how we got here, Pam. When you look at two disastrous wars, trillions of dollars, when you look at these huge tax cuts for the wealthy, and when you look at what has happened in terms of the deregulation of the financial services industry in Wall Street, that's how we got here. So rather than talking about what we do to create jobs and turn the economy around, they're talking about cutting, 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 which is going to impact the most vulnerable in our society. And again, I think the public is beginning to recognize whose side are they on and whose side are we on. And we've got to continue to make sure that the word gets out that this really is about ideology and it's but about rep politics. Representative Lee, let me just break in. I mean, even Democrats are talking about cuts. I'm just curious. What is the big difference right now? Because now we're talking also about programs that are going to go on for another decade. There's a potential revamp of Medicare and Medicaid that has been floated. Uh, Representative uh, Ryan from Wisconsin. I mean, what is the difference right now to get a budget passed for this year? Let me say that sure Democrats are talking about cuts. I'm talking about cuts. Budget, a budget is a more than dollars and cents. Budgets are moral documents. And when you look at, just as an example, the Pentagon, we certainly can cut 100 to 150 billion easily out of the Pentagon. You know, when you're talking about waste, fraud, and abuse in many of these agencies, we certainly can cut in those areas. But when you're looking at, for example, a budget such as uh, chairman of the budget committee, uh, Mr. Ryan, has put out, he's talking about food stamps. And I think this is a great example of what they're talking about. First of all, 44 million people need food stamps. They need food stamps. And those aren't even, that number doesn't even reflect those who are eligible. What they are talking about now is requiring recipients for food stamps to either be in a job training program or to be working, but yet they're trying to cut job training programs in this same budget. It's very disingenuous, it's wrong, and I think that uh, his budget really will show what their roadmap is. And again, I believe this is political posturing. Rep Representative really Lee, getting ready for Representative Lee, let me election. put it to you. Is, is there any, uh, any camaraderie between the Republicans and the Democrats, at least in the House right now? I mean, are you all talking to each other? I mean, it's not like there are thousands of you. <laughs> We talk to each other all of the time. This has nothing to do with personal relationships or friendships. This has to do with a budget being a moral document, what our values are as a country, and who believes that we should look out for and prioritize job creation and turning the economy around. We have to fight for what we believe is right for the majority of the American people, not for the wealthy and not for the privileged. But having, but Representative Lee, having, having said that, having said that, do the people in Congress, in the Senate, do they realize the effect on their own reputations by having everything come down to the wire, whether you're Republican or Democrat? This is all coming down to Friday for another potential continuing resolution. Doesn't don't everyone well, that, they understand that this is going to hurt their everyone, reputations? Everyone understands that, but more importantly than hurting their reputations, this is going to hurt the American people. This will hurt seniors, this will hurt uh, government workers, this will hurt veterans, this will hurt the neediest people in our society who need government uh, as the foundation or as support for them just uh, surviving, really, uh, until the next paycheck. Remember, we have poverty rates that are escalating. We have more people living in, po in poverty than ever. We have to create pathways out of poverty, job creation, and economic opportunities rather than trying to cut, cut, cut. And so I believe 
That's what this fight is about. This fight is not about reputation. What do you, what do you, th Congress. what do you this think? This is about. Is there anything that you think sure the president ought to be doing that he's not doing to reach an agreement? The president is working day and night. I think the president is trying to facilitate an agreement. I think he said it earlier that he's going to keep working. He does not want a government shutdown. I don't believe anyone wants a government shutdown except those who are threatening a government shutdown. All right. We've got so we've, the president. But let, let me just we, say, there was some elected here to Congress to dismantle government. And we've got to leave it there. Representative Barbara now. Lee of California, thank you very much. Coming up, Japan's